This video was sponsored by milliamp.com. Hey guys, what's up? It's me, Omar, from buymeaniphone.com. And today, guys, I have a special video lined up for you. This isn't a video review, but I'm here at Milliamp headquarters, the repair specialists, and the guys invited me over, and they're going to give me a first-hand look at a teardown of the new iPad. This product just came out, so we're going to go inside, we're going to bust this sucker up and see what's inside, okay? Let's go check it out. So we got some bonus footage here. So, Anthony, show me, what is it that we're looking at right here? What is this? This is what was purported to be an iPad, iPad frame and you can see it does have uh, the home button here at the bottom with a little rubber gasket all the yeah. way around the edging which is very similar to the rubber gasket that you see on the actual iPad. Yeah. Um, and this was the one that was supposedly showing proof that there was going to be a camera or there was supposed to be a camera on it, right? That's right. And if you look, the... there's the little cavity for a camera. Yeah. A little eye hole for it. Um, and you notice that the the clips here are actually metal when, um, as you've seen in the video, um, on the actual iPad, the first generation iPad, they're plastic. So this is not the actual frame that's inside this iPad? No. The, the, the current iPad right now? That's right. This frame is not in the iPad first gen. Uh, this may be a prototype for an iPad, uh, iPad second gen, who knows? This may uh, just have been a prototype for the first generation iPad. We don't know. Um, it does have the exact same size as the iPad, but if you look, one thing you know right away um, before we even opened this iPad for the first time, um, we you know took a very close look at the frame. But if you look at the volume, can, the volume switch and also the orientation oh, yeah. switch, there's a clip right there. So you know we knew right from the beginning that this this frame um, purported to be a first generation iPad frame just didn't didn't make a lot of sense, didn't fit. Is there a possibility this could be a frame for a different other device not by Apple? Of course that's always possible but because of the the you know, center the centered home button that's true. It does the, have the size home button. is always is always perfect. Trademark. You know it, the size of it is just is just so close to the to an, to an iPad. Very interesting. So how many do you think of these frames are in existence, Anthony? They're pretty scarce. Um, pretty hard to get by? Yeah. Yeah, they are. I, I would guess, you know, three to five. Probably Very cool. So, the so there we have the uh, the rumor crushed. It is not actually the real frame that's inside the iPad. But that is the whole that we remember seeing on all the rumor sites talking about there was supposed to be an iSight camera in there. iPad itself and then from here there's plastic ones that are immobile on this other side so you tilt that as an angle to get the iPad to release from its case and then from this point you have to look down in it at rip. right there and you have the LCD and the digitizer separated from the iPad see and then this one's going to be the headphone jack clasp there will lift up and the ribbon will come out. That used to be soldered. Free. Touch yeah, it used to be soldered. Down. Down. We're unscrewing. So this guy's going to come out. Final screw is going to come out, and that's going to allow us to detach the charging port, or some people call it the dock connector. So we can lift up from the board up here. This is the initial connection that's going to come up, and then it's automatically going to release here at the bottom. That's where you plug all your, your power cords and charging cords in. Plug that guy in. Now, in order to get this, the Wi Fi cables are underneath it, so we're going to rotate this upside down. And you notice there's a plastic piece right here that's pretty much like a protective shield for these Wi-Fi connector cables. So we're going to pop off this plastic shield. And then, you know what? Two. Well, we have our dock connector. 
that's where everybody plugs in their cable. The Wi-Fi, and that's where it connects with the logic board. That's your dock connector. Okay, now we can move back around to the board because we have now released two screws that hold the board down. Yep, we have one final screw here. So we will grab that guy. There's one more cable here. This one is actually part of your speaker system. And this is going to unplug the same as this. Same kind of interface here, just less number of connectors. So with this guy, brace the board. This guy's going to pry up just like the other one. So we pry up. He comes release, and it looks to me like the board is free from the unit. So we can come out with the iPad logic board. Wow, that's pretty small. So that'll be the board. This right here is where the battery hooks up, as you can see. Very similar to These are the connectors. Yeah, very similar to 3G and 3GS. They hook up with the board right there. It's actually A4. You can A4 chip right there. I think it's the first chip. We have to might have to Google yeah. before. I could no, be no. wrong. That's the first, but chip first chip that Apple has made that's not a Samsung chip. Samsung chip. It's not a Panasonic chip. It's pure silicon made by Apple, designed by Apple. But that's it. That's the logic board. Okay. There's no screws or anything holding the speaker system down. We're gonna remove this wire here. Speakers are going to come out. Damn, the iPad speakers. Yeah. Oh. This is the actual battery, and the adhesive on this sucker is really good, as you can hear as I pry up. It's all just adhesive that we're hearing. <laughs> that right there. This adhesive would be the batteries, the dual batteries for the iPad. Of course, that's where it plugs so up. Just in, the in this tray, there's like two guys in there. Lithium polymer battery. Okay, now we're just moving up to the headphone jack because we're fully disassembling this guy, right? And the screw, these are also T4 torques. It looks like this guy's already ready to come out with a little tug. Guys, this looks like the power button, port, and volume control and vibration motor. I don't know if we need to bring those guys out. What do you think? It's pretty, it's pretty good to tear down right there. Yeah. No, this is, and this is right here. That's your actual antenna that's underneath it. Really? It's actually part of this apple. And that's plastic. Yeah. No wonder. That makes total sense because they always mention how the aluminum. That's the kind of the signal. Yeah. All right. Here's the home button down here. This is the home button. T4 Torx. We're gonna take these guys out. Screw up here. And then after this, I'm gonna demonstrate where the home button actually connects with the charging port for its functionality. And this guy comes up right here. And that's him. Tiny button there in the center. It clicks. And then on the underside, you can see here we have the iPad. It has its little contact right here. It's a little tiny soft squishy. That's right here. There's actually a screw on the other side of that. You see that? It fell through. But now we're going to take off this LCD. Alright, and you can see. On the outer edge here, it's just sticky. That's the LCD. Yeah, this is the LCD of the, of the iPad. So they're glued together. Yep, there's adhesive around here. I'll keep the dust out of there. That would be, that would be it.
as you can see, the iPad does kick back on. So I'd just like to thank Milliamp for allowing me to come out and uh, film this process, and I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And keep in mind, if you guys have the first generation iPad and you need any kind of repairs done to it, well, now you know where to go to, milliamp.com. Till next time, guys, thanks for watching.